everything okay? Huh? Why is Di Ting talking to you? I've always been nice to cute little animals. Of course I understand. All cute things in the world share a special connection after all. The first time we met Di Ting was during the Kafka hunt. I could tell there was a mysterious connection between us. Whenever he barked, I understood what he wanted to say. For example, woof woof, woof 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 woof. Meaning, hello dear, I found a strange thing at the port of Cloudford. You may want to come and have a look for yourself. Hey, enough with the passive aggression. The simple truth of the matter is that I can understand him. So what did Ting find at the port? Come on, let's go check it out! Ting says he's been dutifully searching for clues all over the Sienjo. He notified us as soon as he found something strange. So what does he want us to take a look at? recently. I reckon the only fugitive worthy of a retainer's attention would be a Stellaron hunter. I wonder how he's getting along. tracking entry. Traces run cold at Starskith Haven. I'll have to ask the Cloud Knights in the area if they saw anything. Are you all the way out here on the front lines? Shouldn't you be back at the seat of divine foresight? The general already has a lot on his plate. As his retainer, it's my duty to share the burden. Nothing new to report, I assume? Correct. After this blade escaped from the shackling prison, he disappeared into thin air. I wonder if he's even still on the ship. 
Or perhaps he had no intention of escaping in the first place. <sighs> what foul demons found their way across the stars to wreak havoc on the Lofu? That's why I'm here, to help the General eliminate those demons. Is that so? I didn't receive any orders from the General. Um, uh, this is a covert operation. Then shall we dispatch a few knights for this operation of yours? I appreciate the gesture, but the fewer people who know about a covert operation, the better. Making a big show of it will only scare the snake deeper into the grass. A good hunter must operate alone. Dispatch a few knights. Huh. How incapable does he think I am? I might be young now, but just you wait. The Master Diviner is always boasting about her foresight. Didn't manage to foresee this disaster, did she? <laughs> the Skyfaring Commission really made a mess of this. Who knows if we'll ever find all these missing ships. If the side crane hadn't been damaged, we could have extracted some footage. <sighs> it's no longer an option. Shift the bow! The perimeter is well guarded, but there are no traces of the fugitive passing through. It seems he has no intention of leaving the Lawfu for the time being. Starskiffs are blocked from entering or exiting. There's no way the fugitive got through. But if he fled toward the interior of the ship, it'll be hard to track him down over such a vast area. Hmm, a fugitive would still have to rely on Starskiffs to travel between different delves. If we start by investigating the star skip he stole, maybe we can get a lead. Guess it's back to the docks again. It looks like the influence of the Stellaron spirits is growing. How many of my moves can you block? Strike with heart! Seems you need to experience some hardship. Stand down. <laughs> Time for a shot. Can you block? All will be revealed in lunar flame. Blade of moonlight. That's better. Time, Time for sword play. Playing dead? What a childish trick. Blade and flight! 
That'll take more than medicine. Hmm. Save it for your own skin. Huh. How many can you block? Huh. this? This kind of wound is not the work of a cloud knight. The best prey is one that leaves traces. Here, Duting. Let's follow the scent. are still getting attacked? Where are the Cloud Knights? Hey, don't panic! I'll get you out of there! Time for sword play! Strike with heart! Swords descend! <laughs> Time for some hardship. No. Naughty child. <laughs> you know nothing of the weight behind this power. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. A one-time enemy! Leave it to me. Time for a shot. Nap time. Stand down. Strike with heart. On their feet a second ago. Hmm. Thank you for your assistance, young man. Just doing my job. The port has been sealed off. Why are you here alone? I came with a merchant ship. The shadows of old friends have returned to my thoughts of late. I came to reunite with them and relive old times. Who would have imagined the Lofu could become such a dangerous place? You chose a bad time to visit, I'm afraid. There's been an incident. It won't take long for the General to fix it, though. This place isn't safe. We should head to the nearest Cloud Knight garrison. By the way, did you see a man with long hair and black clothes around here? You... you can't see? I, uh, apologies, I, I thought... My name is Yun Ching. I'm registered with the Cloud Knights. And your name is? Jing Liu. Nice to meet you. Um, Miss Jing Liu? Allow me to lead the way. We might have to take a bit of a detour, but I promise to get you to the Cloud Knights safely. Where exactly are we headed, young man? To the docks. Don't worry, you'll be safe. Are you from one of the other Sienjo ships? The Yaoqiang? The Fanghu? I'm from the Songchang. The Songchang? There's a ship called the Songchang? Why haven't I heard of it? Miss Jing Liu, how long has it been since you last set foot on the La Fu? Are you always this talkative? Uh, just making conversation. I wanted you to know I was still here. <clears throat> Let's get going, miss. Careful. Take your time. Hmm. 
Where do we go from here? Shh, quiet. We've got trouble to deal with first. Wait here a moment, miss. I'll be right back. General was right. There's a threat lurking on the Xianzhou itself. You are quite the sword master, young man. Uh, you... you saw that? I heard it. A sword whistles through the air and rings out upon contacting the enemy. Whilst invisible to the eye, such signals reveal the quality of one's swordplay. As a musician listens to the notes of a song, so a poet listens to its rhyme. And in the flow of combat, a skilled swordmaster delivers both with their blade. I'll wager the Cloud Knights capable of wielding six flying swords at a time, number few indeed. Uh, <laughs> thanks, miss. However, your zealousness inhibits your ability to hide your line of attack. Huh? Which causes your sword's song to become somewhat mumbled at the end. Uh, I guess the connection between music and swordplay is real after all. The general told me something similar. He said my swordplay was too proud and angular. He said it lacked the maturity required to win the title of sword champion. Sword Champion. If I recall correctly, that title is bestowed on one who reaches the pinnacle of swordsmanship in the Cloud Knights. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. Right! Ever since the sedition of Imbibitor Lune, the title of Sword Champion has gone unclaimed. But once everything settles down and the combat art ceremony returns, it's a title I'm determined to win. The Cloud Knights have many martial arts traditions. Who was it that instructed you in swordplay, young man? I see you're no stranger to the art. I won't keep you in suspense. My master is none other than General Jing Yuan of the Law Fu. General. I know you haven't visited for a long time, but surely you've heard of General Jing Yuan. He says he has no affinity with the sword. That his skills are getting rusty. Well, if that's true, I never noticed from his training. All right, the coast is clear. Let's keep moving. The Starskip Voyage Log can be accessed through the Dock Navigator Array.
star skiff, active star skiff. Uh, there! This one goes past the Divination Commission and the Artisanship Commission. Well, my work here is finished. Now to make sure you get to a safe destination. Given the present circumstances, the Cloud Knight Garrison probably isn't a safe destination. Wouldn't you say? Correct. So we're not going there. I'm taking you to the Shackling Prison. Safe, well-guarded, plenty of food, and a place to sleep. Young man, if you wish to apprehend someone, shouldn't you have a reason? Suspicious behavior and half-truths. Those alone are reason enough. You think you can fool me just because I'm a child? A sealed-off port with a stranded passenger? Unlikely. Not to mention you walking the whole way here without so much as a stumble. You can see as well as I can. The biggest giveaway was your comment about my sword play. Correctly guessing the number of swords from the sound alone? Tuh, you'd have to be more than human. You're not blind at all, are you? I never claimed to be. You came up with that yourself. Uh... Fear not, young man. I hold no grievance against you, and have never held ill intent towards the Sienjo. The black veil covering my eyes is merely proof of my resolve to never look back. To never fall again into Mara and destruction. I came here to catch one person. It's quite fortunate that our paths have crossed. The one you're looking for, is it Blade? <sighs> he goes by Blade nowadays. A fitting name for someone who dedicated his mind and body to the ways of the sword. Take me to him, young man. You are no match for me, and therefore, no match for Blade, either. Let me accompany you. There is no need to throw your life away. <laughs> We've not even drawn swords yet, and you declare yourself the winner? Let me offer you a word of advice. Don't underestimate me. <sighs> I was hoping to avoid a conflict with the Cloud Knights. How about this? Let's have ourselves a little contest. We can use the abominations that have infested the Lawfu as target practice, and see whose sword can slay more and slay faster. And if I win? Then I will obediently follow you to the Shackling Prison, and receive whatever judgment awaits me there. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll keep my end of the bargain. But if I win, you have to share Blade's whereabouts with me. Fair enough? A Cloud Knight never gambles with official business. But in any case, you won't beat me. <laughs> I admire your confidence. But what was it you said earlier about declaring a winner before swords were drawn? It would seem we've cleared every abomination from the area. Let's find another location and continue our contest. May the best swordmaster win. This place is brimming with Mara, the perfect environment for honing one's skills. Surely slaying abominations doesn't count as gambling with official business? How do we tell who's won? We go from here to the end of the path without leaving a speck of abomination behind us. The first one to the end wins. Deal. Lead the way. What if you're just using this as a chance to escape? <laughs> Jing Yuan trained you, all right. Shift the balance. Show 
Show me what you got. Strike with heart. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Time for some hardship. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. Hmm. Save it for you your own skin. nothing of the weight behind this power. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Unworthy. Trust me. Blade of Moonlight. Time for sword play! Ha! Where did she go? Take me! Too slow, young man. But how is that possible? What kept you this time? Huh? You'll need to work harder. Otherwise. You won't even catch me in a star skiff. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Uh, uh? A long time has passed since I wielded this sword. The heat of combat nearly cast me into the darkness. Come, young man. I'll let you finish up. I'll let you make three moves. Draw your sword. Don't you know it's rude to keep an elder waiting? Strike with heart! Hesitant. Weak. What happened to that confidence of yours? Once you draw your sword, you must strike down your adversary in one blow without turning back. Blade in flight! Junyuan <laughs> taught you how to slay abominations. But did he ever teach you how to deal with the Mora Struck? The answer is, there is no difference. The sword pierces the body and severs its life. If this sword came for your throat, would you be able to deflect it? Did you think this swordplay was just a game of victory and defeat? Future sword champion. Swords descend! <laughs> Your final move was the only one that didn't disappoint. I I lost. Our contest has not yet come to a conclusion. For I have yet to make my final move. And the field has no opponent. Unsheathing this sword without merit is to blaspheme the divine will of the Rainbow Arbiter and invite calamity. You... Even with your strength, if you were to cross paths with Blade, it would mean death for you. I can give you a more dignified end than dying at his hands. 
To die as a swordmaster, having witnessed the perfection of my technique, refined a thousand times over. What say you to that, young man? <laughs> you have courage. I'll take those records you found. Thank you, young man. That move was a token of my appreciation. We were fated to meet this day, and in days to come. <sighs> this mysterious woman also wants to find the whereabouts of Blade. No. No, no matter what she wants to do with the fugitive, she must not be allowed to get to him first. I have to pick up the pace. No. No, no matter what she wants to do with the fugitive, I have to pick up the pace. And that's... the end? There's nothing else in the operations log? That Jingliu seems pretty dangerous. The Stellaron Crisis sure has attracted a lot of strange people to the Law Fu. Shouldn't we hand this over to Ching Yuan as soon as possible? Getting late. Where to now? Good quality, good price. Have a free chartering. What is your purpose for entering this? Without a doubt, this Jade Tracer belongs to Yang Xing. I can't thank you enough. You already accessed the recordings? Uh, she accidentally pressed a button. No harm done. She was my mentor and my superior when I was a member of the Cloud Knights. However, she left the Sienjo a long time ago. If you see her, be sure to keep your distance and notify me immediately. He took on the charge of pursuing a major criminal. It is not my place to impede him for fear of his well-being. That is the nature of the Cloud Knights and their duty. I do have confidence in him, though. <sighs> Forgive me, but I cannot disclose this information. Thank you again for your help, friends from the Express. The situation remains unpredictable, so take care. I hope to be able to drink and talk freely with you once again, when everything is settled.